when technology and humanity cross. The people of today's generation have seen many advancements in science and technology. From household tools, to communication devices, to industrial equipment, even including robots. The idea of a robot is not new. For thousands of years, man has been imagining intelligent, mechanized devices, that perform human-like tasks. What is a robot? A robot is a machine designed to accomplish a particular task. What is robotics? Robotics is the intersection of science, engineering, and technology, that produces machines, called robots, that substitute for, or replicate, human actions. Robots have the potential to change our economy, our health, our standard of living, our knowledge, and the world in which we live. As the technology progresses, we are finding new ways to use robots. Let's look back at some of the milestones that helped robotics become what it is today. 1495, Leonardo da Vinci drew plans for a robotic night, to entertain audiences, with a design that's operated by pulleys, cables, and gears. 1737, Jacques de Vaucanson designed the digesting duck, capable of imitating a real duck, by flapping its wings. 1810, Friedrich Kaufmann created the first humanoid robot, a soldier with a trumpet. It had leather bellows for lungs and reeds, which imitated the sound of a trumpet. It was even able to simultaneously blow two different tones. 1921, the term robot was first used in a play called RUR, or Rossum's Universal Robots, by the Czech writer Karol Čapek. The plot was simple, man makes robot, then robot kills man. 1941, Isaac Asimov coined the word robotics for the first time, and laid out the three laws of robotics. 1. A robot may not injure a human, or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. 2. A robot must obey the orders by human beings, except, where such orders would conflict with the first law. 3. A robot must protect its own existence, as long as, such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. 1961, the first industrial robot, Unimate, was sold to perform useful work in manufacturing, transferring parts from one point to another, in a General Motors car factory. 1979, the Stanford cart was the first robot with functional stereo vision, to navigate and determine distances automatically. It crossed a chair-filled room without human assistance. The cart had a TV camera mounted on a rail, which took pictures from multiple angles, and relayed them to a computer. The computer analyzed the distance between the cart and the obstacles. It was originally designed to test, what it would be like to control a lunar rover from Earth, and was eventually reconfigured as an autonomous vehicle. 2000, Honda introduced Asimo, advanced step in innovative mobility, a humanoid robot designed to be a multifunctional mobile assistant. 2002, iRobot introduced the first mass production vacuum home cleaner robot, Roomba, and has sold over 14 million robots since then. 2003, DHL developed the Parcel Robot, the first prototype to unload parcels from a container. Opportunity and Spirit were the first robots sent to Mars. They both had a planned lifetime of 90 days, but ran 20 times longer. 2005, Stanford Racing Team's vehicle Stanley, wins the DARPA Grand Challenge, driving a 175-mile long desert track in less than 7 hours, with no human intervention, a boost for self-driving cars. 2011, IBM Watson, the company's artificial intelligence system, 
one against two of Jeopardy's greatest champions, bringing a new generation of cognitive technology to the world. Microsoft released its Kinect to the market. The first low-cost computer electronics sensor to empower robots to identify and pick items. 2012, Amazon acquired Kiva, a company that builds mobile robots that can pick up a shelf of goods, and bring the entire shelf to the picker, who stays in one spot. 2013, Rethink Robotics launched Baxter, the first collaborative robot designed to work safely around people, redefining the way robots will be used. Roles and Jobs of Robots Computer-Assisted Manufacturing Specialized robots can assist in both assembly and inspection processes. Material handling robots are used in many industries, even in the fast food industry. Some material handling robots find their use in preparing pallets for shipping, and some are used in a precision grinding process on automotive parts. Repetitive tasks are ideal to be performed by such machines. Military, this includes advancements in war weapons, aircraft, artillery, naval ships, computer, GPS guided bombs or smart bombs, and others. Medical, this includes, prosthetic limbs, pacemakers, dialysis machines, heart rate monitors, blood pressure machines and others. Space Exploration, Robinaut, a humanoid robot developed in 2004, is designed to assist astronauts. It is controlled by virtual reality, has stereoscopic vision, and dexterous hands with several configurations. Robotics for bioproduction, harvesting robots are used in farms planted with tomato, cucumber, strawberry, multi-operation robots work in grapevine yards, and in chrysanthemum fields. Sticking cuttings. Personal. This includes, fax machines, computers, refrigerators, blenders, watches, GPS receivers, etc. While the overall world of robotics is expanding, a robot has some consistent characteristics. 1. Robots all consist of some sort of mechanical construction. The mechanical aspect of a robot helps it complete tasks in the environment, for which it's designed. For example, the Mars 2020 rover's wheels, are individually motorized, and made of titanium tubing, that help it firmly grip the harsh terrain of the red planet. 2. Robots need electrical components that control and power the machinery. Essentially, an electric current is needed to power a large majority of robots. 3. Robots contain at least some level of computer programming. Without a set of code telling it what to do, a robot would just be another piece of simple machinery. Inserting a program into a robot gives it the ability to know when, and how to carry out a task. Each robot has its own unique features, and as a whole robots vary hugely in size, shape, and capabilities. Still, many robots share a variety of features. Here are the types of robots. Aerospace, it includes all sorts of flying robots, the Smart Bird Robotic Seagull, and the Raven Surveillance Drone, for example, but also robots that can operate in space. Such as Mars Rovers and NASA's Robinaut, the humanoid that flew to the International Space Station and is now back on Earth. Consumer, consumer robots are robots you can buy and use just for fun or to help you with tasks and chores. Examples are the robot dog Ibao, the Roomba Vacuum, AI-powered robot assistants, and a growing variety of robotic toys and kits. Disaster Response These robots perform dangerous jobs like searching for survivors in the aftermath of an emergency. For example, after an earthquake and tsunami struck Japan in 2011, 
pack bots were used to inspect damage at the Fukushima Daiki nuclear power station. Drones, also called unmanned aerial vehicles, drones come in different sizes and have different levels of autonomy. Examples include DJI's popular Phantom series and Parrots and Afi, as well as military systems like Global Hawk, used for long duration surveillance. Education, this broad category is aimed at the next generation of roboticists, for use at home or in classrooms. It includes hands-on programmable sets from Lego, 3D printers with lesson plans, and even teacher robots like Emmys. Entertainment, these robots are designed to evoke an emotional response, and make us laugh or feel surprised. Among them are robot comedian Robo Thespian, Disney's theme park robots like Navi Shaman, and musically inclined bots like Partner. Exoskeletons, robotic exoskeletons can be used for physical rehabilitation, and for enabling a paralyzed patient walk again. Some have industrial, or military applications, by giving the wearer added mobility, endurance, or capacity to carry heavy loads. Humanoids, this is probably the type of robot that most people think of, when they think of a robot. Examples of humanoid robots include Honda's Asimo, which has a mechanical appearance, and also androids like the Geminoid series, which are designed to look like people. Industrial, the traditional industrial robot consists of a manipulator arm, designed to perform repetitive tasks. An example is the Unimate, the grandfather of all factory robots. This also includes systems like Amazon's warehouse robots, and collaborative factory robots that can operate alongside human workers. Medical, medical and healthcare robots include systems, such as the Da Vinci surgical robot, and bionic prostheses, as well as robotic exoskeletons. A system that may fit in this category, but is not a robot, is Watson, the IBM question answering supercomputer, which has been used in healthcare applications. Military and security, military robots include ground systems like Endeavor Robotics Packbot, used in Iraq and Afghanistan, to scout for improvised explosive devices, and Big Dog designed to assist troops in carrying heavy gear. Security robots include autonomous mobile systems such as Cobalt. Research, the vast majority of today's robots are born in universities and corporate research labs. Though these robots may be able to do useful things, they're primarily intended to help researchers do research. Although some robots may fit other categories described here, they can also be called research robots. Self-driving cars, many robots can drive themselves around, and an increasing number of them can now drive you around. Early autonomous vehicles include the ones built for DARPA's autonomous vehicle competitions, and also Google's pioneering self-driving Toyota Prius, later spun out to form Waymo. Telepresence, Telepresence robots allow you to be present at a place without actually going there. You log on to a robot avatar via the internet and drive it around, seeing what it sees, and talking with people. Workers can use it to collaborate with colleagues at a distant office, and doctors can use it to check on patients. Underwater, examples are deep sea submersibles like Aquanaut, diving humanoids like Ocean One, and bio-inspired systems like the ACMR5H Snakebot. Robots offer specific benefits to workers, industries, and countries. If introduced correctly, industrial robots can improve the quality of life by freeing workers from dirty, boring, dangerous, and heavy labor. Robots help our population greatly via technology advances, and improvements in the overall health of our society. Medical advancements and labor-intensive activities are decreased due to robots. 
robots can go to, and do things that are unsafe for humans such as bomb disarming, space exploration and others. Concerns on technology, according to Gerd Leonard, a European futurist, speaker and author who specializes in the debate between humanity and technology. Humanity will change more in the next 20 years, than the previous 300 years. He believes that technology will no longer remain just outside of us, such as the steam engine or the printing press which existed outside of human bodies, it is actually moving inside of us. Through wearables, nanotechnology, human genome editing, artificial intelligence, etc., thus impacting the very definition of humanity. To date, technology revolutions have involved the material world around us and now, technology starts involving the biological world within us. Autopilot systems, may make pilots forget to fly, because they spend less than 3 minutes actually flying the plane on average commercial flights. The same may be true for other professions and skills. Social media platforms were designed for finding and connecting to friends. Now, it is a giant data mining operation, and global media company that generates billions of dollars in advertising. Language translation tools which are becoming perfect, may be of widespread use in the very near future. While we will, and should use such tools to make our lives easier, we should certainly not discontinue language education and training in schools. Technological progress is clearly not something that we can undo, or prevent, or put back into the box. Although it has brought very positive effects on humanity, such as the possibility of ending diseases, solving energy issues, and reducing global warming, and possibly halting, or reversing climate change, we need to embrace technology, and harness its positive powers. But we should not become slaves of technology in the process. It is up to us, to define the goals, and set the boundaries. To determine where the machine should stop, and where humans should prevail. The future's not just something that happens to us, the future is something that we create. This has been Eddie. Thanks for joining me, as we delved into, when technology and humanity cross. See you next time.